Hello everyone! Today I will demonstrate how to integrate any character into the advanced locomotion system using the reparenting method. Uh, this approach preserves the existing logic in both the custom and base ALS character, making it ideal for integrating our customizable characters into advanced locomotion system. For this tutorial I will use our latest release, the NATO Soldier Configurator. However, the same process can be applied to any of our other characters. First, let's download the character from the FAB Marketplace. Once the download is complete, uh, we can proceed. Now that the character is loaded, uh, here are a few important points. The NATO Soldier is rigged to UE5 many simple skeleton, whereas the Advanced locomotion character uses the UE4 mannequin skeleton. Fortunately, in Unreal Engine 5, we can easily handle this uh, using uh, the IK rig and IK retarget assistance provided in the short person preset. Uh, let us now add uh, the short person preset from Epic Games to our project. I will create a new folder, name it Tutorial, and move the relevant rigs and retargeters there to keep everything more organized. Uh, using filters, we can locate the IK rigs and uh, IK retargeter we need, especially in the one that maps from the UE4 skeleton to the UE5 skeleton, which is our case. If your character is uh, rigged to a different skeleton, you will need to create a custom IK rig and a retargeter manually. Uh, since that is a more tedious task, I will cover it separately in a future video. Next, we will assign the appropriate skeletal meshes in IK rigs and in the retargeter. For many, we will assign the NATO soldier skeletal mesh. For the UE4 mannequin, we will assign the Animan skeletal mesh. In the IK retargeter, we will also reset the retargeting mesh offset to zero, uh, so, when, uh, so we can accurately visualize the proportion differences between uh, the two models. Uh, in this case, the differences are minimal, however, keep it in mind that weapon sockets are part of the enemy main skeleton so matching the hand positions as closely as possible is important for realistic weapon handling. Uh, let us adjust the IK targets for the hands. For this, I will apply an offset of plus 3 on Z axis and plus 1 on Y axis for both hands. Now let's open the NATO Soldier Blueprint. 
important structural note. The NATO soldier character stores the hands mesh within the uh, mesh skeletal component inherited from the base character class. Meanwhile, in the anime blueprint, which we intend to set as the parent class, uh, the mesh com component uh, contains the anime mesh, which is essential for advanced locomotion system fun functionality. Uh, to avoid conflicts, I will add a new skeletal component called arms uh, to the NATO soldier blueprint. Uh, this component will hold the uh, modular arms. Next, I will set arms as a new leader pose component, ensuring animation synchronization across all parts of the modular soldier. almost forgot, uh, rather than using a placeholder holder animation blueprint, I will create a dedicated one, ABP retargeting. This animation blueprint will handle a uh, ret retargeting process at runtime from uh, any man to our custom uh, character. We will select a skeleton of our custom character for animation blueprint. In the animation blueprint, we will simply set up a retargeter pose from mesh node, uh, referencing our IK retargeter from element to soldier. No further setup is needed. Returning to the NATO soldier blueprint, we will assign ABP retargeting uh, animation blueprint to the arm skeletal component. Next, uh, we must replace all references from mesh to arms uh, throughout the character's blueprint logic. Three references in the customization function. Four references in the set next gloves function. Once completed, we can proceed to the class settings and reparent the NATO soldier character to ALS element character BP in order to inherit its all functionality. Okay, we have a few errors appeared upon uh, reparenting. Let's figure it out. I see. This happens uh, because Unreal automatically renamed uh, conflicting uh, skeletal components uh, head to head uh, underscore zero. We'll manually correct these references. Pro tip if you are following me, uh, if you have components like head uh, that may conflict, it is better to rename them manually before reparenting to avoid additional cleanup work.
now assign the animation mesh to the mesh component. Uh, set its animation to ALS and MVP and disable uh, rendering for these mesh. We only need it to drive the animations. It should not appear visually during the gameplay. Now let's compile and test it. Drag the soldier into the level and in the details panel disable possess for the enemy and enable it for the soldier instead. Our soldier is jumping on one leg. Uh, looks funny, but uh, not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, looks like I missed something. Let's start with the obvious. I forgot to call the parent function in the construction script. Uh, let's finish it. Right click the function and in the drop down menu uh, choose add to call add call to parent function. One more thing. Our native soldier uh, still contains input elements. We don't need them because all input uh, handling will be inherited from the animal parent class. Uh, let's delete all input elements. They are located at the top of the event graph. Also, I'll add a call to the uh, parent begin play function. Let's compile and test again. Now that's much better. The animation is walking as it should. Uh, let's try it with a rifle. Uh, there is a slight offset visible, but it can be corrected by spending more time uh, fine-tuning the IK target offsets. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.